because you denied my children the right to walk down here. This is our campsite, and uh, here we go. Away. Here we go. You guys came in to our space. No, we were. This is our campsite. We were told that we can get to the river from here. The ranger. The park ranger. Yeah, we got her. Don't worry. What? It's fine. No. This lady's acting like she owns the woods. <laughs> I can't. There's something about people yelling like this that is so funny to me. It's just so extra. Like she is absolutely screaming. Absolutely screaming. <laughs> It's just so extra like they're just trying to walk down to the river like we're all outside. What do you mean? <laughs> this is so weird. It's so weird. I don't know. I don't go camping So like maybe there are like things that I'm missing, but <laughs> come on just chill lady. Holy smokes If you're so picky and so mm, 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 I don't want this and I don't want this then you shouldn't be on the subway that's for everyone you know what I mean like it's just a little bit <laughs> What in the world? Also, I can't hear you. I'm like, you clearly can't. <laughs> like, we're not four anymore. You know what I mean? When it's a busy subway, your bag does not get a seat. And if your bag does get a seat, then expect somebody to come over and sit on it. Dang, so I guess this guy's a lifeguard and like somebody had told them not to go out into the water and then they were doing it anyway and then he came over to be like, what the f man? I don't know nothing about surfing or really any water activities other than floating. Um, but I feel like the lifeguard is being really reasonable and I appreciate that he's passionate about people's safety. That's kind of what you want in a lifeguard. So I respect that, you know? He was assertive, but he was worried about them and he's doing his job, I think. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Cause again, like I mentioned, I know zero about surfing. Why is everyone bothering people in pools? Get out of the pool now. <laughs> okay. It's too cold to lose. Anybody know this person? Folks, it's not a big serious deal. Let him do his thing, man. It's it's fine, okay? Well, we can let him do his thing. There you go. If Collier County comes around, though. I know. You said that once. It sees him. I understand. It's okay. All right. Good work, though. <laughs> Oh my God. So I, I'm guessing that like the pool is closed or something. And so like he's not supposed to be swimming and these, this Karen couple decided to take it into their own hands. If you were the person who was operating the pool, that's definitely your business at this point. The pool's closed, you can't be here. We all agree on that. But if you're just a random Karen and Ken walking past, I like that she is leaning down going, get out of the pool. I'm like, ma'am, I don't know you. I'm never gonna listen to anything you say. So you might as well save your time. I'm gonna take it, ma'am. Yeah, we're like, where's your ticket? Where's your ticket? <laughs> no, I'm like, where is it? Like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, no, next stop. You have a ticket for this time, man. You gotta, you gotta get out there seat, man. Come up, come up, come out there seat, please. <laughs> oh my god. Come out there seat, please, man. What do you mean I don't have a ticket? I am gonna give so, you my ticket. So, show me your ticket then. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> then do it, Karen. Yeah. 
what the heck? This guy's just like trying to be so reasonable, but he's like also, what in the world is happening? Like, what? I like that she's just laughing too, to stall. <laughs> like, what the hell? What do you even do? Oh my gosh. Karens are crazy. Well, I'm about to show you my ticket then. I'm like, do it, lady. I'm waiting. I would prefer it if you did. Stay there. Stay there. Yeah. Sit down. You do not ski into the back of people. Can I see your pass, please? Nigel, it is the first rule on the mountain. You have to ski in control, okay? I mean, okay. I don't know if she's just like a random lady who's skiing or if she's like, I don't know, somebody who like works there. It's for your safety and for everybody else's around you. Do you understand? Okay, it's not a game. Skiing is a really serious thing. This is like a highway. Okay. You have to be careful of everybody around about you. If she's not somebody who works there, maybe she like <laughs> crossed the line a little bit. But I do feel like in the end, she was just being direct and stern and straightforward. But I don't know if I would call that like Karen behavior. I mean, it was pretty like she made sense. She, I don't know, wasn't being like over the top with it. She wasn't screaming and stamping her feet and, you know, cursing. So listen, the jury's out on whether this is a true Karen or not. Maybe we just saw somebody who's uh, <laughs> Like, you know, protective influence was coming out. You know what I mean? We parents try to ruin the show, but you are the show. And why are you cursing? You know, whatever. How do you, the fan being fanned <laughs> to the beat of the music is so funny to me. I just love that. What does she even want? I don't even know what she's upset about. Let's just enjoy the show. Enjoy the music, focus up there, turn around. I'm just gonna be over here dancing. <laughs> no. <laughs> She was coming in hot too. I'm glad that those people were, I mean, that's obviously exactly why they're there. <laughs> but man, she was not looking. She was just free falling. <laughs> okay, I don't know if she was a Karen. I think she was just, you know, paying as much attention as maybe she should be. But who knows, maybe the video continues. <laughs> Like, why do people think they own the beach? Like, there's so much space. If you don't like what somebody's doing in one area, go, go to the pool. Like there's so many options, the park, just anywhere else, another beach. There's likely more wherever you are. Like, I just don't understand it. Also, just laying down after, <laughs> that was a full defeat. Oh man, what's illegal? Oh yeah. Give me Look, look at this, look at this guy go. This is my job. By my okay, this is my job. Show me the my license job. from the state. Show me the license. I don't need a license. You want a removal. And my thing you is right there. You want a removal, you You're crazy not. psycho. You can call any, call any cop you want, sir. You can call Please. anyone you want. Yeah, those are no, mine, eh? No, those are mine. Yeah, it's cool. No, I'm not. You can't, you can't let them go. That's invasive species. Are you, are you local in your head or what? They're invasive species. You cannot let them go. Are you not good in your head? I've been waiting for someone to come at me like that, bro. <laughs> oh no, do not be waiting. Do not be waiting for that moment. Live your life peacefully. This guy does iguana removal? I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> I have so many questions, not about the video, about what this guy does for a living. Also, you don't need a state license, so I'm in the clear. <laughs> You're moving over more and more. That's not gonna take me any. So 
stop the f bus. Okay, so this is, is this like a bus bus or is this like a tour bus? It looks like a tour bus because those seats are way nicer than the seats on the bus bus. <laughs> I'm going to call the police. Do we? <laughs> Hey, you wanna see me, do we? Get off, open the door. Get out. I don't wanna go to New York! This lady doesn't wanna go to New York! I swear to God, I don't wanna go to New York. Oh, you know, you know it. But I feel like she's on a bus that's going to New York, so I'm a little confused. <laughs> I'm confused, but she's upset, and really, what else is there to know? What in the world? Like, she's holding a drink and just yelling. Like, <laughs> 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 I just don't understand. If you don't want to be there, then just leave. You don't have to yell at anybody. You don't have to say, nobody eat here, because clearly people are going to continue to eat there, because they want the food, they want the service. Um, <laughs> these Karens really are out here thinking that they're influencers just on the spot, which, I mean, the audacity alone is kind of impressive. Like, imagine somebody just standing in the middle of a restaurant yelling, don't eat here. I'd probably be like, I don't know why you think, like, imagine somebody getting up and being like, okay, sure, maybe she's right. She's not right. There's no way. Not the mm. pool. Old ladies just need to be the problem. <laughs> like, there's absolutely no reason for her to interact with these people who are just in the pool enjoying themselves at all. And she was like, nope, I'm gonna swim directly through here and cause an issue. Also, I love that, first of all, they didn't really stop playing. They were like, okay, lady, just let us get back to our game. And also, when they all started waving bye, I love it. That probably rattled her more than anything else, which, personally, I love. I Just that response after, first of all, the laugh. <laughs> Also, just the shock of the like, oh my god, like, oh my god. What in the world? What in the world is going on that you think it's acceptable to act like that? How dare you? Like, listen, I don't care. People are allowed to feel their feelings, and like, I'm not afraid of other people's emotions. If you're upset, you're upset, and that's totally okay. But like, <laughs> Being upset and throwing a tantrum are not the same thing. Like, you clearly need to, you know, find a better way to manage your own emotions. Cause that's just, that's not like normal good behavior. You know what I mean? Although you're definitely not gonna get whatever it is you wanted with that screaming. <laughs> Um, that Karen is so brave to go into a group of college-aged kids. You know what I mean? 
I'm just saying, like, young people are absolutely ruthless. <laughs> like, I'm afraid of Gen Z, to be completely honest with you. Like, I would not, I would not dare. Like, that is, you're just waiting to get absolutely roasted. You know, like, that's really what that is. Um, yeah, no, wouldn't do it, do not recommend. And I mean, think that's exactly what happened. I couldn't really discern anything that anyone was saying, not even the Karen, but uh, yeah, I'm sure she got absolutely ridiculed. Boom, roasted. Upon entering this group of freshmen. Looks like they're freshmen. They all look so young. Uh, like, they're just letting anyone into college nowadays, eh? <laughs> Your dog is uh, pooping all over you. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's see if he's pooping. Yeah. Hi, you Kiko it's boy. COVID, sir. It's COVID. You need to keep uh, distance from no, me. No, no, you need to keep distance from me. You're on my island. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, yeah, this is you guys are here. No, no, no. This is, this no, is no, our I'm place. Sorry, yeah. buddy. You guys That's are visiting us. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you guys are visiting us. Huh? What, are you, push what are you gonna do? Don't push it. What you gonna do? Do you understand me? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Get out of here. What in the world? Okay, first of all, I really wanna know where they are. Second of all, you're telling me that all these people came up to this guy, who's just, you know, walking his dog, and then they say that they're like, well, you need to, you know, stay away from us, social distancing, blah, 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 the whole nine yards. If you actually cared about that, first of all, you would leave. You know, you would you would evacuate the area yourself. Um, and I feel like you came up to this man because at the beginning they were trying to like give him shit. So I don't know. It's just a whole group of Karens. What do you call a group of Karens? I don't know. Let me know. Chris, you got any ideas? What's a group of Karens called? A flock. A flock of Karens. <laughs> they definitely sound like seagulls when they're all just yelling. <laughs> oh, it's really just the most real thing in the world. Just all the time. And then they just yell at you and you're like, no, that's an insanely unreasonable request. They're like, what do you mean? Karen's really just sometimes like, there are Karen's who come into the restaurant and they just think that they own it. I swear to God, I don't know. You guys, service industry people, you get me, you feel me. We're on the same. Move no, 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 it's business right now. You no, it's not your business. Oh my gosh, people are wild. Understand it? Oh my god. I'm here for nobody else. I'm here for me. <laughs> That's very obvious. <laughs> Imagine. Who's being rude or not? Imagine getting onto an insanely packed subway. Like, clearly, clearly, this subway is busy. There's arms everywhere. People are standing close to strangers. You know, if you live in a busy city, you've been on a packed subway before, for sure. Um, imagine getting on a busy subway and being mad that somebody's, well, you're leaning up against that little panel that they have there, comfy, cozy, being mad that somebody needs to hold on to the support pole. What do you think they're there for, Karen? Also, if you don't want it, then move away from right beside the support pole if you don't want somebody to hold it in front of your face. Also, yeah, rude and obnoxious. <laughs> and then he was like, well, I know someone who is. Oh, these Karens, even on the subway, man. I'm just asking for you to be respectful. Yes, and frankly, you. that is not. You definitely understand. And, and you were great either yelling back at me. If I came and sat up in your backyard and just wanted to talk to you, you I wouldn't speak to you like that. Okay. Okay? I'm, I'm okay Because it would be over this. in two seconds if you just shut up. I know, honestly, and she's wrong. I live here, I know. So please relax, Thank have you. a good time. I'm sure you're gonna do that. Finny, but if you don't understand why I'm annoyed in my backyard. Yes, Finny, yeah. come on. Well. One more, one more time, and I will get someone down here to you explain what the colony owns. Go ahead. We own right Go now. Go ahead. Get the police. I told you already. Really what is the matter with you? We're so arguing with you. What are you arguing with us for? We just told you. We own it. Would we come on to your front yard? We actually own it. Right down to the water. That's what we want. Find it on. Wait, okay, so. <laughs> 
Does this lady own the beach? I have a strange feeling she does not, but hey, I don't know. Show me the title. You know what I'm saying? Show me where it says that you own the beach, and then I'm on her side. If she owns the beach, I'm on her side. Stole something from someone. Oh, that's, what, so they, that's what they taught you in history, yes, huh? We that's what they fight. taught you in history, and huh? And I'm entertaining for all you people. Yeah, well, you're you still are. here, right? I live here. You're the life of the. You're oh, the life I don't of the care. Party, you don't live here. So? I don't care. We came here, except we're getting paid to be on vacation. What's up? <laughs> I wonder now how you know they're not vacationing. Because you talk about things out of I have so many questions. I have so many questions. I need to know more about the context of this one, really, because whose backyard is this? Why? They're there vacationing? They're getting paid to vacation? What's that about? How do I cash in on that deal? I'm wondering. You know what I mean? I got a lot of questions about the context of this one. So if you guys can let me know, I'd really appreciate it. No, I'm not even kidding. You better pick that up. I don't care. No, I don't. Who the f do you think you are on my property? Oh my god. <laughs> I did not expect this. I listen. <laughs> When I came in here to film this video, <laughs> this is the last thing I expected to see. I'm not gonna lie. Clean it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. You better pick it up. Man, <laughs> you can't poop on other people's <laughs> property what the heck oh my gosh i mean listen sometimes nature calls and you got to do your business but you have to pick it up after <laughs> gosh excuse me sir this lady's harassing me i asked you, you know nicely many, you have insecurities you're, that are like you're you're very incapacitated right now and you're, you're bothering me. no you're bothering you me and you should leave my area i asked you so no. many times Listen, I get being, you know, intoxicated, having some drinks and that sort of thing. But like, I just don't understand how people get like beyond themselves, like where you can't even like hear what's going on around you or like have a conversation or anything like that. You know what I mean? Even your friend is hey. not trying to get you out of here. So hey. why don't you just listen to your You're friend? Okay, you had too much to drink, okay? And it's very, very obvious. So leave me alone. Hey. And even she will agree. With? Just leave me alone. I mean, he made it very clear. He was like, honestly, not even being mean. And he said, leave me alone. You're bothering me like at least three or four times. So I'm just confused why she's so confused. Ugh, man, life. It's a TV. I'm a parent. <laughs> the perfect response like if you're angry and hostile and like whatever about crowds I don't know why you're in downtown New York at all <laughs> downtown New York she calls it that's like downtown Canada when they call <laughs> or what did they call us downtown yeah they call this downtown Canada in Toronto this is like don't go to Times Square you know what I mean if you don't want to see tourists listen everyone who lives in a place like appreciates tourists because you know that's great for the economy but like like, tourists can be annoying. They can be in the way and looking at stuff, but that's literally what they're supposed to do. They're there to look at stuff. And who cares? It's a TV? Yeah, well, now it's gonna be a TV forever in my video. Oh my God, the wipers are still going. Oh, she's in a swimsuit. Does she have a sunburn? <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, this video is Karen's who ruined their own vacation, but I mean, <laughs> the vacation might have been ruined, but she didn't let anything stop her. Tis but a scratch. <laughs> She's not letting anything stop her, eh? Oh my gosh, imagine the audacity, the bravery. What did you expect? I mean, <laughs> geez Louise, I appreciate the vibes. <laughs> That's really all I can say. He's not in Sit down. Okay, I'll just sit down. Please get out of my face. Sit. You just hit my fuck. Sit the 
Get down. out of my face. Sit down. Sit down. An officer's supposed to be there. Sit down. I'm not working right now. I'm on vacation. I will you up. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Do what he says. Sit down. You don't f***ing lie to her about that bull****. I just watched you hit me. Okay, so it seems like the guy who's saying sit down is like an off-duty cop or something like that. And then obviously, like he said, the other guy hit his car. I just feel like if you're off-duty, like there's clearly a police officer there, so you should probably just let the person who's in uniform deal with everything. Cause like, you know, how do you know, first of all? I'm Tell recording the whole thing. So. I will. See who that believe. Hey, will you get out of my vehicle, please? Hey, sit down. Sit down. But then when she said sit down, then the guy sat down. You know, like you just, she's on the clock, <laughs> if you will. So I get why um, he was angry and I get why he was just, you know, used to commanding the situation, but it probably would just be best for everyone involved if the um, uniformed police officer did the thing. Also shout out to the person who gave me the word antagonist. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> That don't matter, that don't matter. You don't live here. Don't, don't, you don't, don't live, live here. I know you don't live here because you can't afford it. Oh, <laughs> no, no, what are you talking about? This we live here. Double I own that apartment. Double Y. Three other I don't people. give a You better respect these Who children. Who are you to respect it's the right. children? They weren't even in the world. Like, what in the world? Who just walks up to a stranger and goes, I know you don't live here because you can't afford it. Like, how would you possibly know that? There's absolutely zero way for you to know that. These Karens really just be out here assuming stuff. Also this. That's how you get your point across when you're a Karen. <laughs> <laughs> like what on earth like i don't even know why she's freaking out but what do you expect to happen i i say that all the time but it's real what do you expect to happen when you just scream and you know <laughs> like nothing they're still gonna kick you out of the restaurant bye bye no bread for you i don't know i was like what's something that all restaurants have bread unless you're a gluten-free place well maybe a gluten-free bread I was holding a parking spot for my friend who was coming right in traffic and these Don't people do that. tried to literally run me over. Because you're standing in a parking spot. So I am waiting for them to get out of their car. So I'd like to chat with them and they won't get out of their car. Yeah, because you're being weird. Back up. Back up. Back up. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Get the f uh, are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? There's 0% running over happening. Um, that's clearly someone who's just like, no. <laughs> just, and are you out of your mind? You're standing there thinking that you're gonna win versus a car. It doesn't work like that. Also, you can't save a public parking space for your friend who, first of all, you said was coming in traffic. And then in your second clip, you said was circling the block. Two different things, okay? I don't think, also, why are they circling the block? What's that about? If you got a parking space lined up for them, what's the point of them circling the block? quick but effective that's what she said <laughs> oh my gosh i love when people team up together for the greater good like everyone just shaming her out of a restaurant is the funniest thing i've ever seen i love that and she's still trying to fight back but it did not work we've all voted we took a vote and uh it's not you yes faulty faulty it's like imagine you know having the privilege to shop at a high-end store like dior is and then still being that entitled 
Okay, so she wants to say you don't own the shop. Okay, do you? I'm like, seems we're at a standstill then. <laughs> Like, just follow the rules. Then you can spend your money. You can get a tiny little bag if you want. You know, the world is your oyster. But you can't just freak out. That's really a bad solution. <laughs> the DJ is my hero. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I would give anything to know like what, it, is she upset cause it's loud? I bet that's what she's upset about, but I could just vaguely hear her screaming at the end. But other than that, it was just straight vibes from the DJ who called security, but it really like blended in well with the set, which I respect and appreciate. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Two years of Central, woohoo! Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm aggressive, it's Monday morning. Please don't put me saying calling somebody a in, I guess. The people aren't ready for the real me yet. <laughs> but I mean, hey, if the shoe fits. Guys, I served a crazy party this weekend. They stayed really long. They stayed a really long time. They stayed like an hour and a half past last call, but they were friends with other people that worked there, so I couldn't kick them out. So I just stood there drinking a beer, waiting for them to be done. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired of it. Like, listen, if you get last called, um, can you finish your drink fast? <laughs> That's all I ask. Like, just really. That means we're closing. Goodbye, go home, see you later. And crying. And stomping. It's the stomping I don't get. Like, that's crazy. Well, it's all of it, really. It's not just imagine. I'm like, oh yeah, screaming, crying, swearing, no worries, but the stomping is where I draw the line. No, it's the whole thing, really. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's something I'm missing in that one, but maybe she was just, you know, skiing is serious. <laughs> I appreciate how seriously she takes it. I don't want anyone getting injured or hurt. We like just everyone to have a silly goose time and go down that mountain with their little poles. I don't know how to ski, like, <laughs> who am I kidding? Karen's that ruined their own vacation? Part eight, holy smokes. Olivia, where the coffee came back from the gravity? Oh, <laughs> <laughs>